Hey friends, it is Wednesday, which means it is time for another episode of the Draw Along Show. I'm your host, Kyle Webster. Thanks for joining me. And as always, I hope you have brought with you something to draw with, such as a pencil or a pen or a crayon or a marker or a stick, or like I often say, a katana sword that you have taken from uh, your samurai ancestor and uh, dipped in just a little bit of ketchup and you could just draw on the uh, walls with that. That'd be nice. Uh, don't cut up the walls too much, though. They're hard to repair. Now, I hope all of you are having a good week so far. Uh, everything's fine here. I just noticed something, though. I haven't been inside a building in so long that isn't my house. Um, and I also haven't been in an elevator. I used to ride elevators, you know, go to town. There might be an elevator here or there. I can't remember the last time I was in an elevator. But, you know, I do like jokes. And there's one excellent thing about elevator jokes, and that is that they work on so many levels. <laughs> okay, I think we should do some drawing now. So let's get to it. I'll say hi to some folks in the chat. RB and Shauna and Sam and Umicorn and Laura and Ruth. Hello, hello. Sherry, what's going on? I see Silen is here as well. Nice to nice to have you here. You said nice to be here. Mercurial and uh, Golden. Steven and Sam, all these nice folks, and um, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me. Okay, now, if you've done these drawings before, you know the drill. You're going to have to be able to do three simple things, and they are a straight line, a curvilinear line. See that? I fooled you because you thought I was going to say zigzag. I just got to keep you on your toes. A zigzag. Okay, now... We are going to get started. Here we go. Now this drawing is a really fun one. And again, just like last week, it's reminding me of the warmer weather that is approaching. We're gonna start with a vertical line, just like that. Okay, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, leave about the same amount of space as that line in between, okay? And uh, maybe a little less, and then do another vertical, just like that. Now we're gonna do a zigzag in the middle, which is a V. We're gonna connect like this. Pretty shallow, right? That's not exactly a a steep, tall V, is it? No, no, no. All right, now let's just, oops, let's just connect the top bit there. Okay, so we've just made ourselves basically a little baseball uh, home plate right there, pretty cool. And now I'm going to do a C curve up to the center of this line. I'm gonna start about here, okay, which is about the center of that line. So here we go, C curve up and right back in the other direction. Lots of symmetry happening here. Now we don't do this too often, but I'm going to color all that in. Just color it in. And that is the beginning of our drawing. Alrighty, now a little line right here. Boop. And a nice little U right there. And it looks to me like we're drawing a face. Just like that. Nifty. Okay, now right here where this line that we drew tops things off, I'm actually gonna come around with a C curve and connect just under this line. Check it out, C curve like that. And on the other side, C curve and ta-da. Now look, this is bigger than that. Is that a big problem? No. Remember, if you've watched this show with me before, you know that we're not after perfection and we're definitely not trying to make your drawings look identical to mine, okay? I'm just giving you a little step-by-step -step for the general idea, okay? And if it looks a little different at the end, it's still gonna look fine. That's the good thing about these drawings. They don't have to be perfect. They always work in the end. All right, we are gonna come up to the top this way, okay, in a C curve, and then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Now what you could do is one big long pass like this, but as I often say, if that feels intimidating to try and get that curve right, okay, all the way across, give yourself a little target, a little dot like that. Okay, now I have something to aim for. So I can come up, and curve to meet it. 
All righty, and I could go down the other way or I could come up to meet it. I'm a lefty, so I gotta go down and do it this way. Otherwise, I can't see what I'm drawing. My hand is blocking the paper. It's one of those things about being a lefty. We're gonna draw a bunch of lines that are going to be converging right here. And when I say converging, I mean almost converging because really it's gonna look like this. Check it out. I'm drawing in towards the center. See that? So from the outside, facing in. Neat. And then I'm gonna draw another big arc over the top of the head here because we have just drawn some headphones, some over the ear headphones. Now here's something that might surprise you because you don't see this anymore. I'm gonna draw a line out this way. Ta-da. You might be wondering what that is. All the uh, older folks out there like myself are gonna know exactly what that is. Okay, but no need for explanations at the moment. All right, now, just here where that curve is, okay, I'm gonna draw a line straight out. It's gonna be about that long, okay? How long is it, you say? Well, let's look at the length of the total, uh, length of the head here, the height of that head. Say make it at least, at least that long, okay? At least that long. All righty, that should give you something to go for. Now imagine you've got a right angle, same length of the line, but we're actually, instead of going right, we're just gonna pop it out in this direction, okay? Cool. All right, now, give yourself a little space, all right? And we're going to come down the other direction and keep it parallel, more or less, all right? It's gonna get slightly wider at the bottom, but you know, if yours is totally parallel, no big whoop. There we go. Like so, and then back in that direction, okay? Did I come as uh, back as far as this line? No, I left myself a little bit of room right there. A little bit of room. All right, now here's something fun. I love drawing hands with this really cool symbol uh, sort of language that we've been using in the show all along. We don't really draw the whole hand, but we just draw the fingers with a couple of simple lines. Check it out. We're gonna go out and in that way. All right, one more time, check it out. Out and in. All right, I know you can do that. Look at this line here. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space and I'm going to follow this same angle, but just change it slightly, okay? And that's how long that line is. Longer than this, but not too long, okay? All right, now next to it, a little higher, out in that direction, okay? And now just to the left of here, we go down and then slightly lower. Look what happens, I'm gonna to connect to this line Ba -ba -ba -bum, like that. We got somebody saying, hey, peace, man, peace. Alrighty, we like peace. Come on over to the other side, okay? Now this time we're going to start popping out this way, okay, but there's gonna be a little bit of a curve to it. All right, now I'm not exactly sure how far I need to come to do this, so I need to give myself something to measure off of. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at the outside of the, uh, the headphone here, and I'm gonna look at the chin, I'm gonna come over this way, okay, as far as the outside of the headphone. So I'm, I'm finding a position right there. And then I'm just gonna pop a little further over, like just a, a little smidge right there, bloop. So I'm coming over, I'm aligning with here, popping over just another bit and just making a little mark. And what that is, is it's gonna be the outside of the body, okay, and that's gonna really help me in just a second. But now what I do is I say, all right, I know I gotta come out from here and make a little curve and it's gonna come back to the body here all right so actually you know what i'm gonna do just to make it even easier we want things to be easy gang i'm gonna draw this line first and then there's just no way i can mess it up so check this out slight angle to it down to about there not very long okay look at this line here imagine you're drawing that in this direction Da -da. okay see that line but but just like that okay now here Aligning with this line here, we're gonna pop out and back. We're gonna go out, see that angle? Not the same as this, right? That was straight on out. This is a slight angle to it. Now I'm gonna curve it and come down this way. Interesting. All right, now here, I'm just gonna come slightly under this line right here, okay? And I'm gonna make a straight line out to about there. Check it out, zoop, just like that. And then here, ta-da, we got a little triangle in there. See that? A little triangle. Okay, now, 
Let's give this person some sleeves. Okay, check it out. This sleeve is going to be curved. Watch this little shallow curve there. This sleeve is going to be straight. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to that stuff. All right, now we're going to do a curvilinear line and we're going to stop that line right under the chin. Check it out. Curvilinear, stop right under the chin. See, I could just line those up. Very shallow C curve. Okay. And next, I'm going to do a C curve that connects all the way to here. All right. Now that's a big one, right? It's a big curve we're going to draw, but we're just going to go for it. We're going to come down and around and like so. So check out how that feels. Take your time with it. If you have to do it in a couple of passes, don't worry, you know, take your time, take your time. No big whoop. All right, now we've got this angle here and it's moving out and to the right slightly. Now we're gonna angle back and to the left just a bit. And this is gonna be the longest line of the entire drawing. Watch this, all the way down to about there. See how long that is? That is a long line. So look at the entire drawing and just say, okay, how long does that need to be, right? Just look at what I've done and look at your own drawing. You can draw it a little shorter first. Take a step back, look at it and say, okay, I gotta make that a little longer. If you make it too long, you can always erase a little bit. You can't really make it too long in this case, gang. It's gonna be fine, all right? Now, once you've done that, okay, you're gonna wanna drop down just a bit from the middle, right? See where the chin is again? I'm gonna drop down to about here, okay? And I'm just going to taper in towards here. Check it out. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Down we go to about there. Okay. Now there's going to be a nice little C curve here. It's going to go down like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut straight across just far enough to where I can line it up with this line right here and connect those. Okay. Well, straight line right there. All right, now pay attention to this. Just inside of this line with a little bit of space, I'm gonna go one, two. See how there's an angle there, just a slight angle? That angle is sort of mirroring the general angle of this leg here. And then behind it, over here to the left, a little shorter, three. Ah, and then just connect those two. Mm -hmm. I think we know what's going on here. Okay, now I want you to imagine that you're going halfway down this leg and right there, check it out, little V. That's a fun way to draw knees. All you gotta do is a little V. And now I'm gonna do a curve, a linear line above it like this. See, I'm curving up. Okay, upside down U or sideways C. Okay, now we gotta come from this side and do some action, okay? We're gonna come out this way now, how low are we gonna go? Well, look at this V, okay? Look at the top of the V. I'm gonna come out here, and that's gonna be about where I wanna hit that mark, okay, right there. So check it out. I'm gonna start up here, okay? So a little higher than here, right all the way up here. And the angle is gonna be not too much, but it's kind of like that, see? Check it out. Aha, uh -huh. interesting, interesting. Okay, now here we just go across, and then taper and we round it off with a nice C curve. See that? Now this is curving up. I want this leg to be going back in space, so I'm going to curve down. That's all it takes, okay? To create the illusion of depth. Now imagine I'm just following along the center of this leg, and right there, I'm gonna go down like this, okay? And I'm gonna come out and back like that. Interesting. That's that back foot, okay? And we just go one, two. All right, now you can have a tiny little bump right there for that other wheel if you want. All right, up to you. Does not matter. Now here's a little detail action for you. Line, line. Okay, you wanna come over here. Line, line and then a little curving line, okay? That's all it takes. Look at this, we've got somebody. And now this is my best uh, little attempt to do a ponytail that is stylized. I really like doing this, are you ready? Time for some really fun wavy lines. Now these are curvilinear lines, right? But they're wavy, check it out. Look at that, we go up like this, and we just do it again. 
And again? Huh? Now you got a cool ponytail back there, right? Okay. Now, this is your drawing. Do whatever you want. You want to add some stars to these leggings, right? You could do that. You can have little patterns or something. Put a little smiley face on the t-shirt, doop, doop, right? I don't know, add another line right there. You could color it in, you could add a cool environment, right? This is yours to play with and customize and make your own. So there is our cool roller girl. And I really was having fun drawing that one and was looking forward to doing that with all of you today. So now we are moving along to art vocab. And for today, now for today we have a monotype. And one of my favorite monotype artists here, Gary Kelly, is uh, pictured on the right. An absolute master of the form. A monotype, well, what is a monotype? What is a monotype? Well, mono, we know, means one, right? So a monotype is a unique image printed from a polished plate, such as glass or metal, which has been painted with a design in ink. So you take some ink and you paint on a piece of glass. I've only done glass uh, printing, or uh, plexiglass, actually. It's really fun. And the image is transferred from the plate onto a sheet of paper by pressing the two together, usually using a printing press. It's so fun to use a printing press. If you've never had the opportunity, I hope someday you get to do it. Um, to have that paper go down on the plate, right? And then to roll that big uh, press and watch the image go through. And there's a giant wheel that just crushes it onto that surface of the paper and you get the ink uh, impression. It's just so neat. Um, now here's an example of a Gary Kelly print. So what he would do is paint this image in reverse on glass. And what you see here that I love about the way he works with monotype is he puts the ink down, but then you see these little white areas here, okay, that look scritchy, scritchy scratchy. He's actually just taking like the back of a, a paintbrush, part of the handle, and just scratching into the ink that he used to paint with it to sort of wipe it out and do these neat little patterns. And now to get an area like this, where you see this big chunk of color there, but it's got some texture in it and everything, well, check this out. What you do is you use what's called a brayer. All right, I'll just uh, show you this up close if I can. This is an ink roller, a brayer, okay? And you dip it in ink, and then you roll it onto the surface. Um, and you can use speedball ink. You can use all kinds of ink for this. Um, but uh, that's how I've done it in the past. It's really fun, and he makes great use of that. Uh, so this is one of his beautiful images, and I'll just show you one more because uh, it looks lovely. Check this one out. Absolutely fantastic. Lots and lots of texture. Um, he's known for that with his monotypes. You can see how wonderful that looks. And also the limited color palette is really gorgeous and the contrast of that deep dark blue um, with that sort of brownish red color. Um, and it, one of the beautiful things about monotype is when you print it, you never know exactly what's gonna happen with the ink. Sometimes it's gonna sort of speckle or smudge or whatever. And that's part of the beauty of the, uh, of the art form. And monotypes can be quite valuable because they're really one of a kind. So, um, you know, it's kind of an interesting way to make art. Recommend you try it if you can get a little bit of plexiglass. You do not need to do a monotype with a print roller. What you can do is make your art on the glass, get the paper, and then take a wooden spoon and just hold it over the paper and rub with the wooden spoon in little circular patterns and rub onto the back of that paper while it's touching the ink on the plexiglass. Do that with a lot of pressure, do it for about 10 minutes, and you will transfer the image to the paper. It's pretty neat. So that's a homemade monotype uh, tip for you all. Alrighty. Now it is time for us, of course, to do the animal and activity game where you have to suggest for me a nice animal doing something funny, strange, bizarre, weird, unexpected. Uh, just as an example, last week, um, we did a, uh, oh, I don't have it anymore, I'm so sorry. Well, we had, we had a, a moose playing banjo. We had a frog playing video games. You get the idea. So I'll look in the chat for your suggestions and we'll uh, take a look at that. Um, and then we're going to be, oh dear, it's time, it's time. You hear that? It is time for Appreciation Station. Almost missed that, there's the alarm. Uh, well, today we have our good friend, Silen. Silen, we are appreciating you today. You might remember that time that we were digging in those, um, 
magic stone mines that one time. This was years ago. And uh, all of the miners, we were so irritated because that goblin kept coming around and turning off our lanterns. And you were so clever because you had this idea of taking a decoy lantern and covering it with sneezing powder and hot sauce. So of course the goblin came around and well, you can guess the rest. He did not bother us again. We were able to complete our work and that was actually quite a pleasant experience afterwards. So thank you for that. Wonderful. Well done. All right, let's check the chat for today's art animal. What do we have here? A bear tap dancing. Not bad, not bad. An ant walking on stilts. A tall ant. I like that one. Never, never even thought about that. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, well, so far, I think the bear tap dancing is um, one we've done. We've done a bear before. I don't remember drawing an ant any time recently. I like that one. A butterfly churning butter. Ho, 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 ho. A dancing blowfish. That's an interesting one. How do fish dance anyway? Uh, well, you know, between these, I've got about five minutes here to, to draw, so I gotta, I gotta quickly make a decision. Um, I think I gotta try this, this stilt walking ant, okay? So why don't we see if I can pull that off in the short time we have remaining. I'm gonna use a nice light blue color to do my sketch, as I always do. And we're gonna have this ant just kind of right here. One arm over here holding one of those stilts. And the other arm out this way holding another one. So that's going to go back that way. And I'm gonna have him dressed kind of like he's in a like a little carnival or something. So put a little hat on him and a coat with tails. other leg one up here and the other one here a little bow tie I think is in order there there's that coat side I'm gonna get rid of these extra mandibles and make them look too scary I don't want them to look scary I want them to look like a friendly little ant okay and I think I'll just change the angle slightly so that he doesn't look like he's fallen over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Um, and let's see about doing the darker color now for our line work. We'll just knock this back a little bit. You can still see it clearly. And let's make it happen, gang. Yep. All right, I'm going to give it a collar and 
bow tie right there. And we're gonna have this stilt coming right there in front of the body there and then down. It's gonna have a little area there for him to stand on. Okay, and I'll get that hand right there. Got a sleeve rolled up. And the other arm. And then down we go. And over. And there is one leg. And the other one's gonna be coming over here. Oops. Just like that. Got the other stilt back there. Ooh, the clock is ticking. Will he make it? Will he make it? That's the big question. Yeah, I think I can do this. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good here, gang. Confident that I will make it in time. And voila, there you go. Woo, down to the wire. And we made it, folks. Well, hey, thank you very much for joining me for another draw along. Tomorrow, same thing, same time. Everybody take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remember to be kind, and I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.